what is going on you guys and welcome back to the channel now if you guys had tuned in into the live stream you would know we had an absolutely crazy investigation well in tonight's episode you guys we are taking the haunted doll that is known as Allison and we're taking her over there to the cemetery but wait we are taking this haunted doll over there to the cemetery at 3 a.m. now guys it is currently 3 11 is 3 11 in the morning now if you guys didn't tune in into the live stream this is a brand new doll that we're going to be investigating with tonight but before we head over there to the cemetery let's get into the backstory of how and when I got this doll and what she's all about so let's get right into it all right you guys so all you guys were asking me about the backstory of this doll I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you now I want to let you guys know this is completely crazy and it actually lines up with a lot of things that happened during the live stream so the doll was actually dropped off at my house and there was actually a note tape to the doll which I got the note right here um, I do want to say this before I read the note guys I understand the situation and stuff but please if you're local, I know a lot of local people in, in my neck of the woods watch my videos, enjoy my videos and stuff. Please don't be dropping stuff off at my house. Please, I ask you that respectfully. But unfortunately, this doll was dropped off at my house with a note tape to her, and this is what it says. You can have her. She's haunted. Ever since I got this doll, horrible things has happened. My brother died. My car broke down and dishes fly out the cabinet and door slam shut. I'm starting to see shadows and hear voices and it's all coming from this doll. She's evil and there's something not right about the doll. I used to be happy and have a normal life until I got her at a yard sale. She belonged to a little girl who died in a hospital. Be careful and good luck She's all yours now. P.S. Everything I told you is not half of what's happened. This doll has caused me and my family pure hell. I had her for three months and I can't handle it anymore because I'm scared for my life. I figured you would know what to do, so please be careful. So, I don't know who sent this doll, who dropped her off. I have no idea. But, um... If you guys tuned into the live stream, a bunch of crazy stuff happened, including that poltergeist-like activity, um, a bunch of evil responses, a lot of things warning me. So, I don't know, it's kind of crazy, guys, but we're going to go ahead, we're going to head on over there to the cemetery. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, we're at the witching hour, we're at the devil's hour. We'll see how that plays a factor in today's episode. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. And without any further ado, let's get right into tonight's episode. Alright guys, I'm over here in the cemetery. And what I didn't know about tonight is there's actually a full moon. You can see it right here over my head. Um, so that's probably going to play a factor. Not only is it 3 o'clock in the morning, the witching hour, the devil's hour, but we also have a full moon tonight. So, guys, if you tuned in to the live stream and you watched when I investigated with this new doll, do you guys remember when it said, you know, it kept saying it was frustrated, it was mad, it was uneasy, it had unfinished business here. For getting it from a yard sale, I'm pretty sure she bought it from... The little girl's parents house what if her unfinished business is going back home you know that probably made her really mad that her parents gave away her favorite doll it was just a thought you know I'm not sure but I know that would be something that would trigger an aggression so also the doll knocking over absolutely crazy but we're here more towards the back of the cemetery I'm gonna go ahead and show you my setup where I'm set up and everything. We're gonna turn Spirit Talker on and we're gonna get this investigation underway. So here we are guys. We're more towards the back of the cemetery. And there's Allison right there. Here's all the equipment. We're gonna run two K2 meters, the cat ball, spirit candle, the flashlight, the rim pod, the dead bell, and the flux too. So let's go ahead and turn on all these devices. 
turn on Spirit Talker and let's get this investigation going. I'm gonna tell you what, that full moon right there, that just puts it to a whole nother creep factor. And look how them clouds are sitting. That right there is spooky. Alright, so as you can see, we got the doll right here. I'm probably gonna do most of this investigation lights out. But she's sitting right there. Go ahead and turn on Spirit Talker. Oh, look, look, look. Hi, Allison. It's me, Mikey. Look, KT meter. Would you like to communicate with me tonight? I think I know a little bit about your story. If you would like to communicate with me, you can come through, manipulate these devices. I cannot physically see you and I cannot physically hear you. None of these devices are going to harm you, cart. None of these devices are going to harm you in any way, shape, or form. I come out here with love and respect. I'm asking to have a conversation with you. Now is your chance to tell me your story if you would like. You don't have to be shy. You don't have to be afraid. Now guys, I do want to say this. Just because this doll belonged to a little girl, you know, that doesn't mean that this little girl is attached to this doll. I still think there is something seriously evil attached to this thing, especially, you know, with everything that happened, not only in the live stream, but from the other person that dropped this thing off. You know, she, even that other person mentioned her brother dying, and yeah, it's kind of crazy, you know. Who is attached to this doll? Whoa, we're getting flickers off the candle. Look at that. Good morrow. Good morrow? I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Is there a little girl that's attached to this doll? No. Okay. And who is attached to this doll? We love communicating. We love communicating. Again, guys, if you remember from the live stream, it kept saying phrases like we and we're and it it was mentioning there was multiple spirits attached to this thing it just said towards did this doll belong to a little girl yes okay room pod That thing just looks creepy. A lot of you guys even said that you could see her moving in the stream. You would see her hair moving or her eyes moving. Which that's really weird, man. I wouldn't doubt it one bit. That thing is freaky. And a lot of you guys all said the same thing, that you could feel the weird vibe that was coming off of the stall. And it's kind of weird, you know, because I could definitely feel it. But for y'all to just be watching and feeling that type of energy, that just speaks volumes of how strong these spirits really are and how much they can affect even the viewers that's watching. So guys, let me know down in the comments if you're feeling a certain type of way during this investigation. Let me know if you... Secret. Secret. 
Let me know if you hear or see anything that I might miss. Are you telling me there are secrets that's behind the stall? Okay. If there's secrets behind this doll, make that room pod light up to yellow or blue. Just come a little closer to it. Look at that. Whoa! Look at that. Okay, thank you. Holy crap. You can tell me how you felt when your parents decided to give away your doll. Guys, I'm speaking out to the spirit as if it's the little girl that's attached to this thing. Because you never know. If there's multiple spirits attached to this thing, it could very well be possibly attached to this doll. You know, and that would make a lot of sense. That would explain the anger and the aggression. Is the little girl attached to this doll? Yes. So she's just one of the spirits that that's attached to it? Whoa. I just heard talking. I just heard talking. I don't even know where it came from. I don't know if that was from behind me or in front of me. I don't see anything. There's nothing behind me. That was weird. Don't be afraid to talk. You can tell me what you would like. Was this your favorite doll? Look at that. Okay. Whoa. That was a big spike. Okay. So this was your favorite doll. Was it your parents? The ones that got rid of this doll? Maybe that's why you... Yes. Maybe that's why you're so upset and angry. We can talk. We can talk. I would like to know how many spirits is attached to this thing. Maybe you can come over here and touch this bell and let me know how many spirits are attached to the stall. One, two, three. Vanished. Three. Vanished. I'll try to ding again. It said vanish. There's three dolls that's attached to this doll. That's, yes, that candle spiking big time over there. That's crazy. So it just confirmed, guys, that there was three spirits that's attached to this doll. Is that a yes? Okay. Wow. So that explains right there why they keep saying we and using, using phrases like that. Like there's multiple of them. Please wait and listen. Please wait and listen. Well, I think I heard you talking earlier. Maybe you have enough energy to where you can turn that candle all the way out. She shot me. What? She shot me? Whoa. Who shot you? That's crazy, guys. Is this the little girl that ended up in the hospital that died? That owned this doll? Yes. 
That's how you ended up in the hospital. Someone shot you. Wow. Okay. Look at that, guys. That's crazy. Okay. Was it someone that you knew? Was it a close relative that shot you? No. Rim pod. Things are starting to heat up, guys. It's starting to My get... My name is Emily. Again, that's another confirmation. Emily. Emily, that was the same girl's name that came through the last time. Her name is Emily. Yes! Look at that. Oh, look at it spiking. Oh my god. So her name really is Emily, guys. Can you touch that rim pod for me if your name is Emily? Look at that. And you're the little girl that Scroll. died. Scroll. You're the little girl that died in the hospital that owned this doll. Yes. Automatically. That's crazy. Okay. Thank you so much, Emily. Guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Okay, Emily, so did you just name this we doll? We make the noises. We make the noises. Did you name this doll Allison? Okay. Emily, how old were you? Not friendly. Not friendly again. There you go. Not friendly. Is Emily an evil spirit? Oh man, this is wild, guys. I don't even know. Yes. Yes, Emily is an evil spirit. What? Okay, hold on. Alright, guys, I'm actually kind of confused. So. Supposedly this little girl that owned this doll is an evil entity and this is where Look at the K2. Did you guys see that? The K2 was going crazy This is what's confused me look, look every time look at that Look at that Steven Steven Oh my god, that is a strong presence, guys. So this is what's confusing me, is how can a little girl, a little child, be so evil? You know what I mean? Unless it's somebody tricking me. Look at that K2 meter. This is the same thing it did during the live stream, guys. It just held. Look, this doll is something else, I'm telling you. Look at that. I mean, it's literally going all the way to red. You see that. Emily, are you making that K2 meter do that? Yes. Look at that. And it's all coming from this doll right here. Look at that. Look, it's just holding it red. Wow. Emily, can you come up to this bell and touch it? And let me know how old you were? All you have to do is touch this bell. And tell me how how old were you? I touch you. One. Two said, May I touch you? No, two. Christopher. Five. Six. Six. 
Emily, were you six years old? Yes. Look at that, guys. Wow. Look at that. It also said Christopher. That's crazy, man. Alright, guys, so the little girl just confirmed that she's six years old. It also said that she's very evil. So I really don't know what to believe. I feel like I'm being lied to right now, to be completely We settled here. We settled here. To be completely honest with you, I don't know what to believe. I don't even know what I want to do with this doll. You know, with all these evil responses and stuff and confirmation of this thing holding a very evil attachment, yes, it just agree with me. I don't even know if I want it on my property because this is crazy. I mean, we all know that I have haunted objects and there's evil attached to the other dolls that I have, but this just feels different, you know? This does not feel like a little girl. Doorway. Doorway. Are you talking about some type of portal? Is that what you came through? You came through a portal. Is that a yes? Okay. So you did come through a portal. Look at that. That's crazy. And look at the spikes over there on the camera. Whoa, green, yes, it came through a portal. Rim pod at the same exact time. Look, holy crap. Oh man, this is nuts, man. This is creepy. This is very, very creepy. 1960s. Yes. Look at the freaking flux too, guys. Wow, it said 1960s, I believe, or no, during the live stream it said 1950s. Guys, if you haven't seen the live stream where I investigated with this doll, it was like a two hour stream. I know that's long, but you definitely want to check it out. It's packed full of activity, crazy responses. But during the stream, guys, we got 1950s. Now it's saying 1960s. You know, this could date all I the way... See the lights. Yes, I was about to say. It dates all the way back from then. This is how old the spirit is. And it just said, I see the lights. Here's the lights right here, guys. You're manipulating the lights. You're actually doing a very good job. Just to confirm, I have a little ball over there on that doll. If this is the spirit or spirits inside that doll, can you please go up to that ball and touch it? I want to know that it's you and not the spirits of the cemetery. Boom, there you go. Look at that. And look at that. How crazy is that guys? Right there on the doll. So that's validation of them confirming that we are speaking with the spirit that is attached to this doll. That's nuts, man. I mean the grade A responses. He shouts. He shouts. The grade A responses just blows my mind of how intelligent the spirit really is. Is there any good spirits attached to this doll? No. I'm speechless guys, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to think. Do you have anything else you would like to add on to your story?
Were you the cause of the person that had you, that dropped you off at my house? Were you the cause of the death of their brother? Whoa. Look at that. That's not good. Look. Okay, can you back up from the REM pod, please? Thank you. Were you creating poltergeist-like activities such as throwing the dishes and, you know, slamming the I door shut? You. I lied to you. Yes. What the hell? I lied to you. You lied to me about what? I said, it just confirmed, guys, that everything that was in that letter was true. You know, so whoever dropped this doll off, I'm starting to believe them. You know, and they got scared. They freaked out. They decided to drop the doll off to me. Which I said earlier, I know a lot of locals around my neck of the woods know. A lot of locals watch my videos and stuff, but I don't want you guys dropping stuff off at my house. Especially haunted objects that have evil attached to them. That's not cool. It's not all bad. It's not all bad. It, here's what I'm saying, guys. So is that what you lied to me about? It's you're not all evil. Can you do that again? Okay. Thank you. Well, then why don't you go ahead and explain yourself? Because the way I'm taking it is, there's pure evil attached to this thing. And you're all evil. I wouldn't want to think that there's a little girl attached to this that's evil. My head. My head. Okay. Is that where you were shot? Yes. Wow. Okay, hold on guys. This is becoming a very sad story. Like, I don't even know what to think about all this. If there's a, a little girl that's really attached to this doll, and you know, they were shot, and they were shot in the head, and then they spent, you know, however much time in the I hospital. I was 80. So you're not a little girl. Now Kevin. I'm com Kevin. Now I'm confused. You see how they like to toy with me and mess with my mind? Now I'm getting a whole complete different story. So you're not a little girl? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Is that what you lied about? You said that you lied to me. You told me this whole story. There was even a note attached to this doll that said that it belonged to a child. Yes. Lit up. Yes. Okay. Can you touch the REM pod if you are a little girl? Okay. I am so confused, guys. Whoa, whoa. Yes, you are a little girl. Just went back to green. So what did you lie about? Peter. Peter? See, this happened last time, guys. A bunch of male names started coming through. I don't know what to make out of that. Maybe you lied about there's multiple spirits attached to the doll. Is there multiple spirits attached to this doll? No. So it's just you. Is that what you're telling? Whoa, big spikes off the candle. Look at that. Look at, look. 
It's just you that's attached to the doll. Yes. Brim pod. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Absolutely amazing. Grandmother. Grandmother. Did you live with your grandmother? Is that what you're telling me? Maybe your grandmother was one of the ones that tried to sell the stall or get rid of her at a garage sale or a yard sale. Look at the spikes. Look at the spikes. Is that a yes? It wasn't your mom? Okay. It was your grandmother. This might be a crazy question, but did your mother shoot you? Or one of your family members shoot you? No. Okay. That's wild because... Attic hides. Attic hides. That's wild that it said no because I was kind of trying to trick the spirit, right? Because I asked earlier, was it a family member or something that said no? It was, I guess, a stranger or something. I, I'm not sure. But I asked again if it was a family member, her mom, or somebody close to her. It said no again. So I don't think the spirit is lying about that. It was not a family member or somebody that she knew that shot her. Wow. And it said attic hides. Were you hiding in an attic? Is that what you're telling me? Maybe that was a hangout spot for you. Maybe you enjoyed going into the attic. Or maybe you were forced to go into the attic. You take your time and use your energy. You've done an excellent job tonight. Are you recording? Yes, I'm recording. Why do you want to know if I'm recording? Again, get the fuck out of here, dude. Don't go down there. Oh my god. Don't go down there. The freaking doll just knocked over again. Same response that it gave me last time. Are you recording and falls over? I did catch that on camera. Holy shit, man. This is absolutely crazy. This is the second time it's asked me if I was recording and the doll falls over. I don't know, man. I, I don't. Flux 2 just went to green. Flux 2 just went to green. I don't like this. I don't like this at all, man. Oh my god. Is there anything else that you want to say to me tonight? No, rim pod. Same time it went to no. Look at that. Look at that. Whoa. KT meter spiking. Look at that. Look at that. They did spells. They did spells. Alright, before we get out of here, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn on SLS. This is nuts, man. Look at that K2. It's holding at red, guys. I do not like that doll at all. I really don't. Look at that. Holy crap. I'm kind of shaking a little bit, guys. I'm freaked out. Look at that. Alright.
before I get out of here, let's run this SLS really quickly. Can you show yourself, please? Right there. Two of them. Three of them. Standing over top of the doll. Look, they're looking at me and looking away. Standing over top of the doll. Look at that. Oh, it just went to red. Flux 2 just went to red. Oh. Where did you go? Standing over top of the doll. Where did you go? Right there. There was three spirits right here beside me, guys. Look, he's standing in front of me. Look, two of them. Green. He just made the flux two go off. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. This is absolutely wild. This is probably one of the most haunted dolls I have. Look, there he is. Look, that's a big figure. Look, he's just getting bigger and bigger. That looks like a freaking demon, dude. Look at that. Whoa, KT meter spiking. Look at that. Whoa, that's a tall figure. Look at that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. This has been absolutely crazy. Thank you again, spirits, for coming through and speaking with me. Please go to the light. And like I said, you cannot attach to me. You cannot attach to my equipment. You cannot follow me home. You must stay here. May God be with you all. And God bless. Oh, boy. Oh, Lord have mercy. Guys, I don't know what I've got myself into. This is the second time. Same exact scenario as the live stream. It's asked me if I was recording. The doll falls over. I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to mean. I do think there is something evil attached to this doll. And I think it's way more than just a little girl that's upset or mad about the simple fact that one of her loved ones gave her away. It seems more deeper than that. It seems more sinister than that. But I want you guys to let me know down in the comments what you think about this doll. For my perspective, you know, you all, you all know that I have hunted objects, hunted dolls and stuff. It doesn't feel like the other ones, guys. It really don't. We know how evil Carl is. It does not feel like that whatsoever. It feels way more sinister than that. From the responses to the activity, it's just a sketchy vibe. You know, I even feel a certain type of energy when I'm looking at the doll. But, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please go ahead, hit that like button, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next. Should I take that doll the new doll that we just investigated with, with Carl's doll, should we take that over there to the cemetery, see if we can't turn shit up a notch with that, um, just let me know what you guys want to see, let me know what you thought about this investigation, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, guys, if you're really enjoying what I do, and you like the content, go ahead, subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. Um, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff. Consider becoming a member of the channel if you would like to support the channel in a huge way. I would greatly appreciate it. But that's all I got for you guys for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Remember to keep it spooky. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.